can't decode it. You can hear it pretty early, but you can't decode it until it's like a few degrees above the horizon. Uh, another kind of a variable is that there's a lot of interference out here with just being there's so much stuff out here, like all this other crap happening, and sometimes the interference can make it hard to work. But I actually don't see any right now, so I feel hopeful <laughs> they won't have too much interference. And it long? just came over the horizon. How long is the total pass? It's an hour and 15 minutes long. Most satellites that are in lower orbit are 10 to 20 minutes long. So if you see on this program, here is the footprint. So everything that's in the light blue is in range. So Japan is right there. Decoding, there we go. Okay, LA7 KX Norway. I'm gonna call CQ. So what we're seeing, the orange is my transmissions. What I need to see is my own transmission digipeat back, so come back to me. If it comes back to me, that means everybody else saw me too. So you can see the from, that's like the call sign of the person that sent the message. And then the to is who they sent it to. And then the message is over here. So they're saying they're grid squared. Like that's my grid square. So I've got these, um, these macros up here. So if I just hit F1, it'll send a CQ. There, it came back. So now people you know, have seen my CQ and they're probably going to call me back. There's somebody in Russia. Somebody in Japan. Another person in Japan. Look at that, there's a pile up right there. So I just made contact to all those stations. How are you able to determine the country? Is it based off of the call sign? The call sign. And if I, if I click on a, a... Down here, do you see where it says United States? If I click on somebody's call sign, it'll tell me. So if I click on... Uh, 